Hello, everybody. Welcome to our current energies. We're going to be looking at June 2018. And I want to welcome you and thank you for showing up. Today is the 27th of May. We had a little bit of a shift here these last, well, the last week, I'd say. And uh, some would call it upgrade. It depends on how we contextualize it for us, you know, where we are at on our journey. June is basically. Um, for, you know, using a metaphor, is basically sailing the ocean, okay? There'll be tons of emotion triggered in our collective. In fact, it will be almost like a rhythmic up and down, up and down. And that has nothing to do with good or bad. That just has to do with some of the, the, the reaction to this upgrade, okay? There'll be an up and down and up and down. And there's some uh, specific energies that are coming in, in addition to, uh, you know, the sixth and the seventh chakra. And that's our fourth chakra, which is the one that uh, wants us to connect deeper with ourselves and others. And also a fifth chakra, namely to bring all this now into expression, to bring love into expression, to bring synergy and collaboration into reality, you know, to really work on getting along with other people, but at the same time also being able to discern whom you want to get along with, okay? And that can only come from your heart, as we've discussed so many times. So let me read this to you real quick here, and then discuss how this uh, could play out. A quick question here. Uh, does everyone get the upgrade? Yes. It's not really a getting this. It just occurs. Okay. Upgrades are, you know, um, in my observation, and again, this is, this is my observation, um, triggered by two things. One is an, an overall um, uh, speeding up of energy of the planet. So some say, you know, it has to do with human re resonances, uh, or, you know, with the frequency, the planetary frequency. Uh, and some of that is triggered through uh, the, the overall sort of um, evolutionary track timeline that we are on as a collective, the whole human um, uh, race. However, when you ask, does everybody get such an upgrade? Not everybody perceives it, and only a very few people are actually able to interpret it. So upgrade is a word that immediately triggers some kind of, like I said earlier, a specialness in us or or the idea of uh, we're stepping up one step of the ladder or something like that. It really isn't that way. Uh, to be honest with you, an energetic upgrade um, can be extremely challenging. And so we're going to go through an extremely challenging month here in June. But at the same time, there'll also be very beautiful opportunities. So if you can contextualize um you know an upgrade more so with uh, a new level of um exposure a new level of awareness a new level of of difficulties but with it also a new level of growth a new opportunity i think i i compared this with a thunderstorm uh in the energy update you know yes it's very very challenging you know, up until uh, the release, then it happens, you know. But then when the release has happened and release here in conjunction with emotional energies, what happens for us is almost like a sort of clean slate. And there will be a very grounding energy that comes with this in the beginning that will have the effect of um, a total centering in you. But another effect that this energy will have is uh, that it magnifies your attractor field. It magnifies your manifestation abilities. And that's why I've um, timed the, uh, the workshop here <laughs> for this year around the summer solstice again, because there's so much that, is, that um, is, is possible to work on in this time. It's at the height of that, okay? Learning how to discern, learning how to really work this energy for you, not to just achieve your goals, but to um, become one with your vision, 
it's much greater than just your goals. So it's uh, the, the key word here is beyond, beyond what the ego can make up. The ego links you to goals, links you to accomplishments, okay? But your true vision links you into, you know, you as a part of the greater whole. And also the greater whole as a greater whole, because, uh, you know, it, it's, a, it's a, you know, it's holographic. We talk about fractals and everything because every, a thing that happens sort of in the on the micro level also happens on the macro level or everything that happens on the micro level also happens on the micro level so you will you know as um active self healers and trainees of that will actually feel this replication you will see things you will see these same patterns replicating everywhere but the problem is of course here i am talking you know about larger vision about truth, about implementation and integration and emotional energies. And that, my friends, <laughs> is a very explosive mixture for the collective that uh, can create a lot of really shocking things. And some of these, um, well, well in, you know, when I, when I talk about the collective, I talk about like geopolitics, um, I talk about things, you know, such as, you know, the stuff that's going on with South and North Korea, the stuff that's going on, um, you know, here in the States, the stuff that's going on with our financial systems, the stuff that's going on behind the scenes in regards to um, uh, 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 technology, uh, uh, research, innovations. Okay. So there'll be a major, major upgrade here this month in regards to all these things but what does an upgrade mean i mean let's uh, make an example here uh, in in regards to geopolitics what does an upgrade in a larger vision seeing the larger whole the, the the greater good for all um more synergy more collaboration what does that mean for, for world politics where they were at at this current moment in time at this consciousness level that you know our politics are at our politics are calibrating below truth guys which means that um the politics around the world the politicians around the world the systems the governances the authorities they calibrate below truth that means that their interest is not truth their interest is not the greater good so what happens now if the entire collective experiences um, faster vibratory level, like an um, amplification of, you know, something that you could call like a, like a, uh, you know, sort of a, a higher evolutionary influx. Yeah, there will be friction, there'll be resistance, there'll be clashes. And so the way I contextualize things here from the perspective of an active energy worker, um, an active self healer, um, you know, and someone who um, is, is willing to allow, you know, those things on all levels. For me, this is going to be, you know, a positive time for humanity. How it's going to play out for me personally, I don't know. But judging by um, how these energies come in, namely with um, a stronger tendency to uh, want me to pay attention to my deeds and my emotions, you know, my, my very practical things in life, you know, the, the, the super, super practical stuff. Okay. Um, I'm looking forward to it because I know that this is an invitation for me to grow. I know that this will, um, you know, or can be challenging, you know, on an ego level <laughs> as in like, Oh no, <laughs> you know, but as far as my, my personal, my overall ability to to hold energies, to express them, and to move towards my true vision, you know, of myself and and you know my true purpose and 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 this this drive that I have, I think that this will be a great opportunity. It's an invitation to go to the next level. So you can see here that a lot of um, 
the way we interpret what is happening to us or to the world has to do with our level of perception or level of consciousness. And that is then what determines how we see what's happening. Yesterday marked the first of many major shifts in our collective energy for June. Some of you may have felt it from feeling overwhelmed, introspective, powerless or frightened into a more clarity, physical power and perhaps even agitation or the need to do something about whatever is triggering our inner responses. Here I'm referring to the emotions and uh, the emotions and, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the attachments behind that, namely, you know, the attachment to the past. June will continue to bring those corrective energies we have been dealing with for the last four weeks, but with a more power to integrate and actualize changes. This is the physical energy here, that I, the integration energy that I was trying to describe. After a period of reconnecting with our true values based on our hearts, not our minds, but our hearts, and overcoming our fears of change and making conscious decisions that can lead us a step closer to what we truly want to stand for in this world. Through clarity in our minds, we are now beginning to feel a more physical energy that asks us to come out of the woodwork and implement that. For many of us, this will feel like a welcome shift after so much dwelling, licking our wounds and contemplating about our future. However, if we've been neglecting our bodies too much, or if we are generally disconnected from our physical, and again here, this is also 3D, not just bodies, it can also lead to the increased manifestation of physical ailments. So it leads to an increased manifestation. That is what June energies are. But if there's a negative tendency or if we are sort of on a negative track, then that can also lead to an increased manifestation of that. Restlessness and agitation. I want to point this out, guys. The physical illness or physical ailment or, um, you know, not so much like a disease, maybe perhaps, but but those um, mystery um, things that we have and, and weaknesses and things that we've been neglecting where we couldn't um, or haven't been showing self-love um, enough or couldn't connect with self-love enough, you know, they can bite us in the ass now, okay? So <clears throat> this is a time now that you can turn this around the next three weeks. There's going to be a lot of sort of frailty and older people, you'll see them all opting out, you know, wanting to leave the, the, the planet. Because if you don't really have that uh, physical stamina, you know, to, to, to sail those waves, you know, you're just going to feel really, really weak. So um, uh, this is a, is a bit of a wake-up call here in regards to connecting with our bodies, you know, and really taking care of our bodies. Needless to remind you that our energies often slip into very low vibratory places when our bodies don't function that well, which is not conducive for our manifestation process. So use this time now to get back in shape. That was a, like a, you know, like a, that's a big um, uh, energy tip here, a big reminder, you know, take this seriously now. It is in your self-responsibility and also accountability um, for your actions um, that you will find the right balance between your physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual needs so that you can grow and excel with the sudden innovations and see the opportunities to expand. Here's that expansion. Knowing when to be with the right people at the right place at the right time could be the mantra for June. It will definitely challenge our ability, uh, adaptability, sorry, but can also lead to a whole new level of fulfillment. Don't miss out on this chance. In order to adapt to these rapidly changing outer conditions, we need trust in our higher vibratory abilities. The ability to know what's good for our energy, to discern what is true and what isn't, and to link into a larger perspective beyond ourselves are the result of a deep merging of our mind and heart, our energetic sensi sensitivity with our intuition and precognition. 
the message here is to allow ourselves the space to grow beyond what our ego mind can fathom. Ego can only interpret, can only interpolate between past and present. It cannot see what it cannot see. And so it is on us to become an us, you know, our consciousness to, to um, become good energy managers and thus create higher vibratory conditions, faster vibratory conditions that allow us to reach our maximum potential and happiness with our environment. For this, it will be of utmost important to let go of our confusion where we belong. We can't afford to, to, to really wally around this anymore. You've got to know where your center is now. We are energetic beings in human form, and we came here to experience the manifestation of divine creation in this realm. This is what we chose. Now it's time to rediscover our true nature and true abilities. Resisting the process is futile. It negates the nature of our evolutionary power and thus unplugs us from our true inner power. The ability to adapt and grow with our challenges. By aligning ourselves to the synergy of our united heart and mind, we will be able to physically and emotionally and mentally attune to new challenges to come. Our creation power comes from within each and every one of us. It is what drives us. Our true power, however, comes from being able to make connections, to relate and collaborate. Love if you can. June will be a great month for meeting someone you might want to spend the rest of your life with, if you haven't already. In synergy with others, we become more than the sum of our parts. This is the part here that links us into the greater vision, you know, and the greater unity of all. At the same time, beware of dysfunctionality in your relationships. Manipulation, addictions, jealousy, playing games, lies, and betrayal will come to a dramatic showdown by the end of this month. And there is no need to waste your energy and wait until the worst case scenario actually happens. Take care of yourself, trust in your inner guidance, seek support, support and walk out if, if you feel that this is true to you. Go out and trust in your ability to attract the right persons into your life but not through who you think you are, what you have or what you do, but who you become and what you stand for. To get to the next level of creation and fulfillment, your true nature is what needs to come into expression now. That's what integration means. What do you stand for? What drives you? What makes you get up and try again? What expresses your true nature? How will you feel when you will have reached your goal? Can you feel the difference between goal and vision? Are you moving towards your vision? What could you do to activate change of your conditions? So this month, you know, a lot of us will be triggered, a lot in us will be triggered, uh, and it will feel difficult. But this month, a lot of really way showing new things can be triggered as well, such as meeting a person that you may want to spend your life with. How does that feel when you suddenly, you know, like say, you know, you're happy where you're at or, or, or so you think you are and suddenly you meet someone. Do you guys remember this? It like just sweeps through your life like a tornado, right? And it can, of course, you know, especially when it, when it, when we allow, you know, infatuation and, you know, attraction and all that to happen in our neuro system to react to it, you know, and to go into this like 
this oxytocin high, right? It can be a very, very beautiful thing, but it can also create havoc in our lives. And so you can see the, the, the ambiguity of this when we receive upgrades. And the word receive in, up, in, in quotation marks because it's not really it's like a getting this or receiving this. It's not something that we deserve now that we've been working so hard. No, it just happens. It's just a natural occurrence. It's due to our evolution, due to the track that we are on. So through this adjustment, we can gain empowerment to face our personal challenges ahead, ahead of time and learn how to overcome them by tuning into our very own self-healing powers. This is the part, you guys, why we do these energetic adjustment sessions. Because, um, you know, the more, conscious, the more consciously you can do this, the easier it will be for you to, to, to see the larger picture. And this is a quote that I use a lot because that's one of my favorite one, ones. And it says, consciousness. If you knew better, we'd do better. But in order to know better, we need to understand first. And to understand better, we need to connect within and allow our divine consciousness to dissolve the limitations of our ego. This is what you guys are all working on. So that we can begin to understand what our ego cannot know. That's the beyond part, okay? So the beyond is pulling us into the future. And all you need to do now is to allow that to happen. And allowing is a very high vibratory energy or resonance, better say. And why does nature help us in that um, uh, uh, adaptation, so to speak? Because nature is the most natural, nature, you know, the planet, is the most natural expression of all of that. So nature has to go through all these um, shifts and upgrades and blah, blah, blah as well. And it just does because it doesn't resist. And so by aligning ourselves to nature, by aligning, aligning ourselves to lovingness and beauty and higher manifestation, you know, divine creation, we are riding those waves. I know this sounds a bit like spiritual blah, blah, but it's really very, very practical. Okay, very practical this month. So um, the, the energy, uh, you know, or the, the pri primary sort of theme for the month of June is synergy, okay, synergy. And that means how can I find a way to collaborate, to work with other people's, and not just other people's. Nature would be also one of them, or animals, or, uh, you know, uh, any form of, of uh, or any expression of divine creation. How can I work with divine creation together, okay, to integrate, you know, this, this true vision of myself, and true vision can be you know, the, the very thing, you know, that defines me. And I tried to put this together in these questions. Personally, the question that resonated with me the best or the most was, what makes me get up and try again? Do you guys know this feeling? You know, when, when no matter what's going on, you know, ups and downs, physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, you know, but then there comes this, this, this feeling, you know, where you just let all of that go. And you're like, you know, F it. I'm just going to do it. And oftentimes it's not even a doing this per se. It's just like, I'm still going to go my way. I'm not going to choose to succumb. I'm not going to choose to... Um, you know, conform or, you know, go the easier route. Now, I'm not going to choose to rebel either. I'm choosing to just go with it. And see what this opportunity has to offer to me. And the reason why 
I'm discussing this here with you is because this is really important to understand June energies. We all have waves, okay? And, uh, you know, it's like the oval, if you, if you use the analogy of an ocean, you know, and the ocean often stands for our emotions, you know, for the, the overwhelmingness um, of, uh, you know, this, this, this sudden hmm, sort of a rise of, of, of energies in us, okay? And uh, this doesn't have to be negative, doesn't have to be positive. It depends on our situation. But it's important to understand that this entire month of June will require a higher level of connectedness and will require a conscious integration into 3D. Okay, so it's not enough to just meditate things away. I've mentioned this a few times that, you know, energy work is not just there to um, teach you how to how to um, manage things better or, or how to, um, you know, uh, say neutralize or out vibrate things. Uh, the ultimate goal is uh, to, you know, to find your own way to really merge with your over with a greater vision of yourself. And when I say vision here, I've mentioned this before, it's not the same as goals. I mean, the way you really perceive yourself, like who you truly are. Because when you feel that coming in, there will be a part of you, it links us back into our childhood. It links us back into the time, into that part of our past, when that got shut down, when that got, um, uh, somehow capped off, all right? And so some of us will have um, the feeling of rebellion, you know, that what they didn't do back then. And some of us will feel, like myself, I did rebellion back then, you know, I'll feel much more calm, you know, and I'll say to myself, or will be able to say to myself, okay, you know, I can see the system, I can see the matrix, I can see what all this is pulling me into, but I'm just not going to. I'm not going to resist it either. And what is needed for this is two things here in June. A good level of, of physical integration, a good level of being able to physically work with this. And, and when I say physically, once more, I don't just mean in a, in a physiological way. I also mean, you know, just in form of deeds and actions you know, 3D related. Um, and the second part is the ability to channel and to clear and to integrate our emotional energies. Many of us have a little bit of a, say, negative attitude towards our emotions, right? We think that emotionality is all ego. That's not quite true. Emotions have um, the same right to be there just as, thoughts do or just as physical pain does or energetic sensations they all have the right to be there they they have a purpose they're signaling something to us okay and that is you know how something uh you know from from the lower chakra perspective you know how something is being translated into this more physical language so emotions have a lot to do with our physical it's the layer right above our physical is you know the neurotransmitters and the hormones that influence our emotions and the emotions come in as a result of our um sensations and before the brain even knows what's going on emotions are already there so please You'll need this a lot here for June. Accept your emotions as part of your sensitivity, as part of your overall being an empath, not just in regards to feeling the pain of other people, but also in regards to feeling anything, feeling, you know? So that's why it's sometimes so difficult for us to, um, you know, it's sometimes difficult for us to differentiate feelings and emotions. That's because the feeling is more or less the, the result of all um, aspects of our perceptivity put together. But emotions have to do with this. So when 
um, we do a meditation or when we go through something, there will be emotions that, well, first there will be some uh, kind of physical s sensation, you know, something that we perceive through our senses triggered. Okay, let's say we just talked about this, um, this shift, okay, this upgrade. Okay, so we'll feel it somehow in our body, and then it will trigger some kind of motion in us. And then all this arrives, you know, at your brain, and your brain is then um, trying to interpret it. And the only way your brain can interpret it really is based on what it knows. And what our brain knows has a lot to do with our past. Don't forget that. Feeling worried, for instance, or getting scared, getting frightened, has a lot to do with our past. And so if our to-go place is fear, then that shows us from an emotional standpoint that em the fear, the emotion of fear is what needs to be worked on. Because if the emotion gets too strong, then what overwhelms us is not really what we're perceiving, but uh, you know, a hardwired reaction to it, namely the emotion that is being triggered based on our past experiences. And you will need this in June a lot. Yes, so that you can feel less worried about things, so you can stay calmer, so that you can actually, yes, so that you can feel more compassion for yourself and for others, you know, that you can feel more centered. Uh, the month of June here, as far as transmissions is concerned, um, it will be a little less transmission simply because we have the workshop in Florida. So if you have the time, you feel the sudden prompting to come. It's the week of uh, um, the summer solstice. The actual workshop is from the 20th to the 22nd um, in Florida with pool and all. So if you come from you know places where there's winter right now, where there's generally colder temperatures, then look forward to a really hot subtropical environment. We're going to work a lot with water. We're going to work a lot with nature. And we're going to do a lot of walking, you know, walking and talking, you know, very, very practical. And we're going to teach you how to discern truth for yourself. Wonderful, guys. Thank you so much.